So you've purchased Kinetisense and you're ready to open it for the first time. Here are a few things that you need to know when you first get started. The first thing is that you need to make sure you plug your Kinect camera into your Windows 10 laptop via the laptop adapter. The laptop adapter is a USB 3 and you need to make sure that you plug it into the proper port for it to work. USB 3 has an SS symbol and a blue color to the port. If you do not plug it into this, it will not work properly. You need to also make sure that the Kinect camera is 3.5 to 4.5 feet off the ground and that your patient has 6 to 8 feet worth of space to stand in front of the camera for there to be accurate measurements. Now you're ready to log into the system and get going. Please know that there are multiple language options that you can choose from before logging into the system. Once you're logged in, there are multiple different things you can do from here. You can start new assessments, or you can reconfigure your dashboard. We're going to take a look at the left side toolbar. You can do things here like hide your list of patients for privacy, or change your home screen from a fitness to a healthcare background, or if you want, you can just have a plain gray background. We're going to choose the fitness background. At this screen, you have the option to view video tutorials, look at the installation guide, contact support, or send us your log files for review. Here we have the option to change the title of our clinic, our identification number, the address, or the phone number for the clinic. You also have the option to change the logo. Now we're going to add a new patient. Because we've hidden the patient list, we have to type something in the search bar for the add new button to show up. Once you're here, you can input basic information for the patient, like first and last name, their primary practitioner, their email address, gender, birthday, phone number, address, and any notes that you think are important. You also have the option to change their profile picture so you can associate that picture with their profile. We also have a questionnaire on the right side of the screen that looks through things like if they're left or right hand dominant, what kind of sports they played, and what level of sports they played. This is valuable data to gather if you're doing concussion baselining. Once you've gone through and clicked off all the boxes and put in all the information you need to, you need to save the patient profile in the bottom right. Once you save the profile, you'll be able to start taking assessments and having the data stored in that patient's profile. Thank you for watching the Kinetisense Getting Started tutorial.